Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being patient, patient with us, and welcome to our quarterly DEI webinar series. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in and joining us this morning. My name is Samantha Gallagher, and I'm the Member Engagement Director here at the California MBA. Um, if you are a member of ours and you'd like to join our DEI committee and take part in the, uh, the committee that decides on topics and speakers that we have for our webinar series, please feel free to reach out to me and let me know, and we would love to get you plugged in. Uh, before we get into today's presentation, we would like to thank PCV Mercor for their support and sponsorship of our 2023 DNI committee. Um, we have invited Candy. She is with PCV Mercor, and she is going to give um, a quick commercial on PCV Mercor. Thank you, Candy. Thanks, I'll Samantha. Turn it over to you. Thanks, Samantha. Welcome, everyone. I wanted to let you guys know a little bit about PCV Mercor. For more than 40 years, PCV has built a tradition of excellence in helping hundreds of clients make their customers' real estate needs happen. Licensed throughout the country, PCV is the nation's largest Black-owned AMC that provides appraisal management and valuation advisory for residential and commercial real estate. We manage valuation needs for mortgage lending, financial institutions, estate and litigation, real estate investors, and mortgage servicers. Since 1981, we've been, the, we've been the industry's premier appraisal management company to embrace diversity, equity, and inclusiveness with a business model that truly serves everyone. Through the diversity of our employees, we gain the benefit of looking at different ways to approach our business, and it's made us a stronger partner to our clients. PCV Morecore is committed to helping clients and their customers make, real, make their real estate needs happen through accountability, connectivity, and performance. Thank you so much for having us. I'll hand it back to you, Samantha. Thank you, Candy, and thank you to PCV Mercor again for their support of our committee this year. Um, now I would like to turn it over to Rosalind Hardy. She is one of the leaders of our DEI committee, and she is going to introduce the presentation we have and our uh, presenters that we have for you today. Well, excellent. Good morning, everyone, and I thank you all for joining us. Candy, again, thank you, PCR Mercor being our sponsor for our DEI committee. We have today two speakers. And first of all, as Samantha said, I am Rosalind Hardy and I am President and CEO of QCP Systems. I am also a committed member to the California Mortgage Bankers Association and have been involved with the association for many, many years. And I'm on the DEI Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee that sponsors these quarterly webinars. Our goal for these webinars, I just want to share with you real quickly, is to provide information, tools, and resources to the industry that can help enhance your business. And we can all use an enhancement to our business in today's market. We know that. But the opportunities for production is out there, and we are consistently trying to share that with the industry with these webinars. So I am so excited to present to you two speakers. I'm hoping that right now, Brenda Rodriguez, she's having some difficulty with technology. We know, we like to believe technology is perfect, y'all, but it's not. And so she's having a little trouble getting on, but I'm hoping that Brenda will be able to join us. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna roll up our sleeves. We're gonna understand that in today's world, we're gonna have to maybe work a little harder, a little bit more, but the rewards will be great because we're gonna be helping families with their home financing needs. And so having said that, I'm going to introduce to you our speaker, Veronica Kendall. Veronica is the Vice President of Housing Finance Agency Relations for Down Payment Resource. Her responsibilities include the internal research, she is, manages the internal research team and nurtures collaborative partnerships with, house, with HFAs, I'm gonna say FHAs, so that stands for Housing Finance Agency Relations and Home Buyer Assistant Program Providers. For more than 20 years, Candlewall has garnered diverse experience in multiple areas of the mortgage industry, having held positions in mortgage loan closing, regulatory compliance, and loan product development. Prior to down payment resource, Veronica worked. Now, y'all like this because she knows the business. 
She worked in mortgage product development for Fifth Third Bank, where she was the go-to subject matter expert for all things affordable lending. Did you hear what I said? All things affordable lending, okay? Including down payment assistance and affordable lending products offered by the Federal Housing Administration, FHA, HUD, we know them, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, state and local housing authorities. She's a proud advocate for the inclusive lending practices that allow qualified borrowers. They're out there, y'all. We do have some qualified borrowers still out in the country that we can help to achieve sustainable home ownership. Veronica is highly regarded for all her dedication to connecting consumers, real estate professionals, and lenders to the thousands of home buyer assistance programs available to them across the nation. And on that, I'm going to turn this over to Veronica. You all take some notes, listen attentively to what down payment resource has available out there. Thank you so much. And Veronica, please take it on. Thank you, Rosalyn. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was, that was, thank you. <laughs> uh, I have been in the industry for a long time and that was a beautiful way to start us off. So thank you so much. I think, um, Samantha, if you go back one slide, um, I do want to talk a little bit about down payment resource a little bit more. Um, if we have that slide or not, um, I can just speak to it. So down payment resource. I'm sorry. I can pull it up if you need me to. I'll just wing it. So um, our down payment resource started by our CEO and founder, Rob Crane. He was in the industry and has been in the industry for many years. Um, he, when he was in the industry, he was like, uh, there had to be a better, simpler way to identify the down payment assistance programs that are very available across um, the nation. But at that time, there really wasn't, there really wasn't anything available other than, you know, doing your Google searches and looking online um, when that was available. But there wasn't one centralized location of information in regards to and to um, identifying those programs. So in 2008, um, Rob started Down Payment Resource and created a centralized one, one location of uh, a database that we can identify all the programs across the nation. Our team, we're constantly looking for new programs. We identify those, we research them, we maintain them, we show if they are out of funds, currently have funds, um, and we have that in one centralized location for everyone to see. And as the slides go on, I will show you how these tools are available for everyone for free. And then I will also be able to show you some other additional tools that are available to you if you reach out to us. Um, so all this to say, um, ultimately we help you connect home buyers to the down payment help that they need. Um, we do our current state of home buyer system programs. We publish a quarterly report called the home ownership program index. If you're interested in that, it has a lot more data and information on these program types. If, um, you can go out to our website and see that published there. You can also sign up for our newsletter, um, to have that distributed as well. But here's a quick overview of the types of home ownership programs we are tracking. As you can see, 75% of all home buyer programs are some form of down payment assistance. Um, those come in many forms. As you can see, deferred forgivable programs, repayable programs, and true grants. We also track all of the affordable first mortgage programs, which can typically be layered with DPAs as well as tax credits. You may know, uh, recognize those as mortgage credit certificates or MCCs um, where they are available and other less common programs we track, um, but we won't touch on those today. But suffice it to say, most home buyer assistant programs are DPAs. Next slide, please. Um, so down payment help is available. Uh, programs are available everywhere in every market. Here you can see the states with the greatest number of programs, but there's literally no county in the country where some kind of help isn't available um, for home buyers. There's currently 83% of all programs have funds available for buyers today, and there are well over 300 programs in California alone. 
Next slide. So current DPA trends, demand for DPA is through the roof, literally. DPA providers continue to enhance programs with more assistance, higher income limits, higher purchase price limits to keep up with rising prices. There's new state and local programs continue to launch in markets nationwide, and 83% of all TPAs are funded and available. So down payment assistance is still available and it's not going away anytime soon. Um, also would like to say when I was at the NCSHA conference, the HFAs that we spoke with multiple HFAs and every single one of them that I spoke with was um, talking about how they are so busy, um, even in today's environment and the market that we're, we're in today, they, they, they kind of are having a hard time keeping up, but they're they are getting it done. So just wanted to let you know that as well. Next slide, please. So down payment assistance programs, we're all aware that these programs can be used to cover the down payment and often closing costs and prepaids. But did you know we're seeing more programs allow their funds to be used for temporary or permanent interest rate write downs? Cost setting mortgage insurance cost, property repairs, and other ways to chip away at affordability challenges. Next slide, please. So hop on the DPA bandwagon. Home buyers need the help. Real estate agents need loan officers who do DPA, and loan officers need the purchase apps. Um, one of the big questions we received through our webinars is how we can we identify loan officers and lenders that are participating in DPAs. Um, so we um, do reach out to our, we actually have them reach out to their lending partners. So that would be you. So if you're participating in those DPAs, um, have those conversations with your, your realtor partners. And um, we'll talk about some other ways you can partner as well. Next slide, please. So here's just some of our partners, including top listing portals, lenders, nonprofits, and of course, all of the 1300 plus DPA providers around the country who help us keep the program information current. Next slide, please. So as I started in the beginning, we do have some free tools that everybody can access for free. Our website at downpaymentresource.com, um, anyone can go here and do an eligibility search for free anywhere in the country to see what's out there for you or your client. Next slide, please. By entering in your information, you can be signed up for our newsletter. If you do not want on the distribution list, just uncheck the box and then click submit. But as you can see in the slide, you immediately are provided with three programs um, based off of search criteria. And next slide, please. Results are emailed to the address entered in the previous screen, and you can choose any program on the screen to learn more. You would learn max amount and program benefits. You'd see links to the agency's participating lender list, guides, portals, and more. You would see the program provider contacts and approved education providers, just to name a few. Next slide, please. We also partner with Zillow to let consumers know there's down payment help available for the properties they are interested in. You can see that here and test it out yourself when searching listings on Zillow. Next slide. We did the same with Redfin. As you see, more partnerships like the and more partnerships like this um, are in the works. So stay tuned and watch out for calls from aspiring home buyers who are finding out about these programs and need your help getting qualified. Uh, next slide, please. By the way, we also partner with multiple listing services around the country, including CRMLS right here in California. We flag eligible listings with the DPA icon, so both real estate agents and their home buying clients are aware of DPA opportunities and can explore those opportunities together. CRMLS members also get Down Payment Connect for free, which we'll talk about in a moment. 
One other important note with all the inventory concerns and misperceptions about DPA, it's important to know that more properties are eligible for DPA than most people realize. In fact, 61% of CRMLS residential listings are eligible for one or more or many DPA programs. Next slide, please. So there are other DPA tools to help you out. Next slide. Um, Down Payment Connect, uh, Connect offers you a personalized landing page where buyers can come search for down payment programs where they want to buy a home and connect back to you to learn more and take the next steps. Loan officers, you can also see all programs in your market and contact, um, sorry, control which ones display along with additional eligibility tools. So you can go to downpaymentresource.com forward slash DPC to learn more. Next slide, please. <clears throat> we also work closely with lenders around the country to help raise awareness of DPA programs, streamline this research and operation, operationalizing <laughs> of DPAs and help lenders help more borrowers get into homes. Our directory offers product teams full access to all programs and data in their market, and the rest of our lender suite helps LOs, ops, risk, and even closing and post-closing access, what they need to identify opportunities and close more DPA deals. We're happy to schedule a demo for anyone who would like to learn more. Next slide, please. We also have a Facebook group called Down Payment Insiders. You can join over 11,000 of your real estate and lending peers across the country as they share marketing ideas, best practices, challenges, and successes working with first-time home buyers, DPAs, and Down Payment Connect. Also, there are thousands of real estate agents involved with Down Payment Insiders that are networking with loan officers to start up partnerships and grow their business with DPAs. Listen in, chime in, and network. Um, next slide, please. You can reach us at info at downpaymentresource.com for additional information or to discuss, discuss additional tools available at an enterprise level. I look forward to any questions you may have. Uh, and thank you. All thank right. you, Veronica. Thank you. It looks like Brenda was able to join us. So I'm going to switch back to her slides. Hi, Brenda. Good morning, everyone. Hello, Samantha. Wonderful. I am so glad that we got the technology working for you, Brenda, <laughs> that you're able to join us and just in time. That's how yes. it works. So I want to share with everyone about Brenda Rodriguez, who fortunately was able to join us. Brenda is the executive director of Affordable Housing Clearing House. She has been in that role since 2009. This is her 14th year with the organization, which is celebrating over 30 years of addressing the evolving affordable housing needs of the community. Some of her responsibilities include identifying business opportunities to sustain the organization, oversee fee for service programs, less contracts, manage housing developments, both rental and for sale, financial literacy and counseling, and representing the organization at various community events, cultivating relationships between nonprofits, lenders, and other community groups to facilitate community reinvestment activities. Although we know home ownership continues to be a challenge here in Southern California and actually throughout the state, Brenda is steadfast in ensuring that community is educated on the process and benefits of this long-term investment through support and collaboration of lenders, nonprofits, and various partners. Under her leadership, AHC successfully made home ownership a reality for families throughout Southern California, a geography with significant barriers to first-time home buyers. She secured national stabilization funds and currently oversees monitoring for the remaining portfolio. She maintains relationships with contacts at the, at the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, as well as the Federal Home Loan Bank of San Francisco and the Federal Reserve Board. 
She is dedicated to the Orange County community and serves on several boards, focusing on housing and uplifting families with very little means. Some of these boards include the Kennedy Commission, the Orange County Community Housing Corporation, where she's the chairwoman, and the Hope Through Housing Foundation. She is passionate about helping the underserved, low-income families, educational programs, and the veteran community. She facilitated the 2016 Veterans Symposium on Housing in Orange County and has previously served as the chair of Orange County Military and Veteran Families Collaborative Stirring Committee for Housing. Her speaking engagements include participating as a guest on the Ron Siegel broadcast in January 2016, the Radio, Radio Santa Ana, which is a Spanish broadcast, and Telemundo, Canal 52, promoting of the down payment assistance programs for working families. Brenda also established the organization's relationships with the Veteran Administration and partners with them to offer life skills. The focus of the series ranges from tax savings, credit information to home ownership and other topics. Lastly, she served as a board of director of the Southern California Association of Nonprofit Housing for six years, where she also volunteered as part of the fundraising and recruitment committees. Now you guys know it was well worth waiting for Brenda to come join us with that background. And so I am so pleased to turn this over to Brenda Rodriguez of the Affordable Housing Clearinghouse as she shares with us what her organization does to help the community in uplifting people to home ownership. Brenda? Good morning, everyone. It's a, a real privilege to be on this um, speaking engagement with all of you this morning. I know that um, this market is, is really tough. And so I'm really honored to be here and to share a little bit about what we do and how we can help you close those deals. Um, our organization's mission is here on this, in, on this slide. I won't um, read through it, but I, I'll just remind everyone that we are a nonprofit that collaborates with stakeholders such as yourself and we generally work with low income and first time home buyers and special needs populations, which would include um, veterans um, in, in the community. Next slide. Our organization um, is, has been serving the, the Southern California community for 33 years. And when I say Southern California, I don't mean um, specifically Orange County. That's just where our headquarters are. We do um, offer our services up to 100 miles in any direction except west, because then I'll be out in the um, in Catalina Island, and, and that'll be a little bit too much fun for me. Um, our nonprofit is, is governed by nine board of directors, and we offer our services in English, Spanish, and Vietnamese. And what that means is that we're able to provide one-on-one -on -one, um, programs to the community and to organizations in all three languages. It's not like we have a translator we call in. We actually have staff on hand that, um, that have those capabilities. We are a HUD approved housing counseling agency. And the reason that's important is because there's not that many HUD approved housing counseling agencies with certified housing counselors that can offer specific services and certification. So please keep that in mind um, as we go through this presentation. Next slide. So why would you partner with a nonprofit like ours? Um, I've listed several items um, there. Our counselors are providing the information and resources to empower families to improve their housing situation. The majority of our clients start off as renters and so um, we serve as impartial trained professionals to help families make informed decisions. When, when our clients get to you, they are ready to go. And what that means is that our staff has helped them prepare their applications so that they can either get pre, be pre-qualified. And if you're a realtor, then the realtors don't um, have to waste their time trying to figure out whether or not they're gonna be able to get a complete packet. 
Instead, what we do is when we partner with, with lenders or loan officers, we ensure that the, that the clients are ready, they know what the 1003 is, they know how to complete the application, and they have the documents that are necessary to begin their processing. Some of the services that we offer in order to help prepare your future clients is homeowner education, pre-purchase and foreclosure counseling, but most importantly, bud budgeting, because a lot of families, they know what kind of dream house they want, but they don't understand what kind of home they can actually afford. We also provide fair housing resources to families who may not know their rights as either a renter or a homeowner. Next slide. So we all know that home ownership is not accessible to everyone and not every family or individual is going to be able to achieve home ownership because some of the barriers are generational poverty, access to information about financial literacy. What I hear over and over again is that families have never learned to properly budget for, um, for the purchase of a home. They don't understand the process of home ownership and there's a lot of be um, behaviors and practices that we have yet to better to understand about how we can spend and save some of our hard earned income. So those are some of the tools and resources and skills that we work with families on. Some of the activities that we're engaged in are documenting or tracking successful home buyers that are in specific geographic areas. And we do this so that we can demonstrate our experience in working with various um, geographies in Southern California. We also um, focus on our circle of influence to set measurable wealth and, and uh, wealth building goals. Um, there's, there's a quote that um, Gary Acosta from NAREP um, says something to the effect of um, home ownership is the path to stability, but, um, but small business is, um, is your journey to the, to the middle class. And so we wanna help these families achieve and start building wealth through home ownership. Next slide. So one of, one of the, um, some of the efforts that we're currently engaged in um, is our ability to provide collateral and programs and services other than in English. So um, what we do is we ensure that through our social media platforms, we are always promoting our information and programs in English, Spanish, and Vietnamese. And so this is something that this industry can really benefit from. And I'm not, I'm not talking about just um, doing a, tr a direct translation, really keeping in mind what the nuances are culturally with different, um, with, with different groups that you wanna provide services to. Um, including their stories and newsletters and participating in community events, whether they're ethnic holiday, um, ethnic events or holidays, things of those natures. We also uh, manage a platform where the discussion of diversity, equity and inclusion and its opportunities in relation to affordable home ownership are shared with stakeholders. Last year, um, our Orange County reinvestment panel focused on diversity, equity and inclusion and the, the discussion really took place around how businesses are leaving money on the table. And when it comes to home ownership, if you're only focused in one specific group, then you're missing out on all the other available opportunities that are out there. Next slide. I wanted to give you some um, examples of how um, we engage with the public. On the left, you see Helen Tran. Helen Tran is a HUD certified housing counselor. And so rather than me participating in the Vietnamese National Association of Real Estate Professionals, because she's better informed and um, culturally sensitive about um, the Vietnamese speaking population, I've delegated her to be involved, to remain engaged and to ask for support from me whenever it's necessary this year. We were, um, we were able to participate in a home buyer's fair in Santa Ana, for example. And because it's, um, it's a, a group that is um, hardworking like many others, um, we were able to participate and provide our programs and services to the public. 
on the right side, you have um, a flyer that we put on our social media platform that has to do with losing your um, your home. Every every group, if you go into their communities, you will see that there's different nuances um, that vary. For example, if you go into certain um, Mexican immigrant communities, you'll see that their flyers um, are what we would consider really loud. They have um, a lot of graphics, they have a lot of color. Um, when you go into certain Asian um, communities, they are a little bit more subdued and they are uh, they just want the information and it's done in, in the language that they can understand. So these are some helpful suggestions that I wanted to share with you. And instead of using Google Translate, if you already have a partner that speaks the language of the population that you want to work with, I would say engage with them and, and have them read it. Make sure that it makes sense because direct translations don't always make sense. And it's really important to show that you do care, but that you care in, in a way that can be understood um, for the population where you're doing a lot of your engagement in. Next slide. So how do we move forward around diversity, equity, and inclusion? I've already given you some, um, some examples, but um, some of the partnerships that I think are important and have made a difference are um, getting involved with the Asian American real estate professionals. They are highly motivated realtors. Um, they, uh, they collaborate with each other outside of work functions. Um, I know that I've been invited to participate I'm one of those um, cigar smokers, you know, not everybody's willing to admit that, but I generally en enjoy a nice cognac and, and a cigar. And so this is one of the, you know, these are one of the activities that they get involved in. Um, and so when you become part of their trusted circle of influence, they are more apt to share with you some of the, um, some of the things that are going on and what are some of their barriers because they're not always the same. Um, the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals, um, also known as NAREP. Um, they have an annual conference that takes place in California. This year, it was in Miami. But when you go to these, um, when you go to their conventions or their annual um, conferences, there's a lot of information to glean from them. Um, the Hispanic population has had the most significant growth over the last few years. They're the only um, group, uh, per people of color that have double digit growth in terms of home ownership. So if you're looking around and saying, oh, we can't get a deal, what is it that you're, you know, one of the things that you could be doing is getting involved with the local chapters. Um, that will, that will help you. Um, the other, or the other two that I'll briefly speak about is NAREB, which is a National Association of Real Estate Brokers getting involved with those that are most active in their community, better understanding what some of their challenges are, um, is also helpful. We, our organization um, did a uh, home buyers expo, home ownership expo in Long Beach last year. Um, and that was in January 28. We had over 75 unique households that attended um, this event and we are planning to do it again. In fact, we're starting to work with the Santa Ana College because um, young people today, they want to learn a little bit more about how they can start building generational wealth. And if you're interested in, um, in participating in, in that endeavor, whether it's as a volunteer or a sponsor, those are also opportunities um, where you can get engaged in. Um, the Vietnamese National Association of Real Estate Professionals I left that on here because in Southern California, Orange County is home to the largest contingent of Vietnamese speaking families outside of Vietnam. And so this just goes to show you where if you if you learn and you are better informed about the communities that you're surrounded yourself with, um, whether it's near your branches, where you live, where you worship, um, you can also get involved and, and have a better understanding of who who are not being who which client, which potential clients um, are maybe not being looked at. Um, there's a huge Persian population here in, um, in Southern California, not, in, not just in Southern California, but in Orange County uh, specifically. Um, we do offer programs, uh, program information and collateral um, and branding. 
relevant to the communities that we serve. And so I, I would say that I would ask everybody to consider when you're putting out your flyers and getting in, engaged, you know, have somebody from that particular population look at it, you know, um, have them give you suggestions on how you can make it better. I, I don't know everything. And so I, I love being able to meet with somebody that can tell me how we can communicate and show up and be better at everything that we do. We don't do fashion, we don't do sports. We stay in our lane and we make sure that the information that we give and the people that we work with are professional and they're focused on the same goals and, and the vision that we have at our organization. Um, I also hire members who have a passion for the work and, and are capable of investing time in the areas of need who want to understand and um, how to get involved and not just for the sale, but because it's good business. Um, people, people get a feel for you when you go into their communities and they know that you just want to make a sale or you want to close a loan. Um, but when they see that you're involved time after time, um, it really does make a difference. Next slide. So what programs are out there? Um, the Home Resource, she, she presented a myriad of programs across the country. I'm going to be a little bit more specific and, and tell you that partnering with a HUD approved housing counseling agency is a great way, if you haven't done this already, to begin to learn about other programs that are available. Um, a lot of times our organizations are very well connected to the local cities. In Orange County, there are 34 cities or fiefdoms, as I like to tease sometimes and say. Um, but out of those cities, about 11 of them are under uh, the County of Orange. And so they may not have as much funding available, but there are other cities who are working on providing additional down payment assistance programs. And usually it's the larger cities that have a strong tax base. So in Orange County, it would be places like Anaheim, Santa Ana, um, Costa Mesa, Orange, uh, Tustin even. So if you work with a housing counseling agency, they usually will have a wealth of information and resources that you can tap into to better understand if you don't have a down payment assistance program um, at your office or that is offered by your company, then there's usually a down payment assistance program that's offered by the local jurisdiction. Sometimes it's the city, sometimes it's the county. Um, there's many special purpose credit programs that are um, blossoming. The most popular one right now is probably the one out of San Diego, which is not to say that there are, there are not other lenders that offer them. We have about five different lender partners just for um, Southern California and Orange, uh, Orange County and, and Los Angeles in particular. Um, some of you have probably uh, heard um, the special purpose credit programs have, um, have special criteria that need to be met. And so as a housing counseling service, uh, housing counseling agency, we're trained by the lenders to ensure that the buyers who wanna purchase in specific census tract meet the criteria. So that's another reason why you would want to partner and, um, and work with a housing counseling agency. Um, currently, there is a, an empowering black home ownership grant that is available and it's offered through the Federal Home Loan Bank of San Francisco. Um, basically, the structure is a nonprofit will receive a matching grant if a lender has already made a donation or is planning to make a donation, and this is um, specific to the black community. However, we can use those funds to help other people of color or um, disenfranchised families or underrepresented minorities. A popular program is, the, is WISH, um, which is also offered by the San Francisco Federal Home Loan Bank. Um, our organization is qualified to um, to verify the eligibility criteria for low-income first-time home buyers. It's an awesome program. I have to tell you, it's a four-to-one match. And if you don't, if you don't know this already, the lender that provides the four-to-one match is not necessarily a mortgage loan originator. They may be a commercial lender that provides that funding. So it could go as a layer on top of what you already offer. 
Um, and it is a matching grant up to 29,000. And then there's a middle income down payment assistance program that's for families that are um, up to 140% of the area median income. And families who qualify can receive a grant of up to $50,000. So if hopefully some of that sounds interesting to you and, and you want to learn more, you can either go to the Federal Home Loan Bank of San Francisco um, website, or you can certainly reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to give you a little bit more information about these programs. Next slide. So what actions can you take today? You can, you can also get involved with chambers. Um, some of the ones that are that I consider um, that are part of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and there's hundreds out there. I just wanted to name a few specific to, to the area that I'm more involved with, which are the Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and the Greater Los Angeles African American Chamber of Commerce. Both of these um, uh, trade organizations or, or chambers um, have big events at the end of the year, or sometimes they have golf events, and this is a great opportunity for you to network and build your your net worth, right? Because your net worth is your network. Um, I would say partner with nonprofits who um, who offer home buyer education. A lot of the programs that are available through cities or counties require, or even the state, excuse me, um, require a home buyer education certificate. And we are one of those organizations that provide it. Um, and then the other action you can take is to offer your three T's your time, your treasure, and your talent. A lot of nonprofits um, are in dire need of um, companies, um, whether it's loan officers or uh, you know, folks that can participate on their board who have the time. And the treasure doesn't necessarily mean that it comes from your company, but you can certainly help them fundraise. And then your talent, what you know is very valuable to us. And so these are some of the ways that you can um, participate and then lastly, engage with your realtor or, or trade organizations that I mentioned earlier. Next slide. Um, and that concludes my, my presentation. I've highlighted Janelle Abarca's um, email on this last slide. If you want more specific information um, before the end of the week, she is available. I've let her know that I'm putting her contact information out there. Um, she's very resourceful. She is a passionate, passionate um, housing counselor, and she's been with our company uh, organization for 20 years. And so she's certainly well versed and prepared to help whoever is interested in receiving additional information. Um, thank you again, and my apologies for not getting, uh, not being able to get on here as, as quickly as I wanted to. Well, thank you, Brenda, so very much for all that information. I mean, it was information that can be most helpful to those that are trying to help people with home ownership and to grow their production, grow their business. That's what we're here to do. Samantha, before I continue, do we have any questions? That no, we haven't had any questions sent in yet, but I don't know if we um, reminded you all, but there is a Q&A dialogue, dialogue box on your control panel. So if you do have questions for either of our presenters, you can go ahead and submit them there. Um, but we had also another reminder is that this, this uh, webinar was recorded and it'll be on our DEI committee page um, probably by the end of today. Okay, wonderful. And I would encourage everyone to take advantage of that because both Veronica and Brenda provided an awful lot of good information and one of my takeaways and once again please feel free to ask whatever questions may come to your mind as we um, head toward closing out this webinar but I had some takeaways and a couple of quick questions and that is that these organizations I had you know offers in the aha moment I had an aha moment and that was the fact that Veronica and Brenda both are operating in organizations and we have many across the country that are doing the heavy lifting for the industry. The fact that Veronica's organization down payment resource, they're actually acting as the database for all these different down payment assistance programs for the mortgage industry that are available 
to help homeowners get into a home. I mean, come on now. We all talked about how hard it is to find them where it is. Down payment resources, like we're here. Reach out. We've got the we've got all these different programs. What market are you trying to work? What market are you trying to open into? Let's find out what assistance is available for you there. And then we've got Brenda's organization, the planning house, the affordable housing clearing house. Come on now. Brenda just laid out all of this wonderful, incredible information about how you can reach out to her housing counseling agency that is willing and they're waiting to engage with you to know how to reach out to the different communities that are out there and so that you can help them with their home ownership um, and helping them to build the wealth that home ownership offers to so many people. You stop me, Samantha, if anybody comes in with a question. I will. And also, she said something that I've heard others say, and that is when we're not reaching out beyond what we normally are used to working, those market areas that we are used to working, we are leaving money on the table, y'all. And you know our mortgage industry, if we ain't about nothing else, we're about money and making. And so, but there are homeowners out there that these organizations are actually building. They are actually preparing people to become homeowners. They're helping them in all these various ways that Veronica and Brenda both mentioned and helping the real estate professionals, helping the mortgage professionals understand how to work in those communities. How do you know to be culturally sensitive? She, Brenda says she has people in her organization that will work with you in working in those areas. They will look at your marketing materials that you want to perhaps take into those organizations. Partnering with these different areas in these communities, for those of you that want to work with different areas, you've got the AAREA, you've got the NARAB, N-H-R-E-P. You all know how we like all these acronyms. We've got NARAB, we've got N-A-R-E-B, we've got the B-N-A-R-P. Once again, this webinar is going to be available on the Cal MBA's resource page for the DNI, so you can listen in detail and get some of these assistance information. I heard Brenda indicate that find out about brands. How can you get into these areas, into these communities? Partnering with, find yourself. Those of you that are here with us, share with your company, share with your loan officers. Find yourself housing counseling centers, cut approved ones. There are lots of them out there that you can literally work with to help borrowers get into that home ownership space. They're out there. And we just have to roll up our sleeves a little higher, be willing to work a little harder, but these organizations have done a lot of the work for us. It's kind of like we just have to show up and knock on their doors and say, I'm here. Can you help me? Because I want to help borrowers to get in the home. Mm -hmm. And if you yeah. stop borrowers that you are working with or that you would like to work with that need their help, then reach out to them. I mean, I'm telling you, down payment resource where they are actually doing the work and finding all those programs for us. And we know here in California, that's especially difficult raising that down payment. So please, I, I truly encourage you all, the California MBA does these webinars sponsored by the DEI committee because we truly are committed to helping the industry to do what we're here to do. And that's to help borrowers with home finance. And so I want to thank Brenda and Veronica again for their incredible presentation and the information that they provided. There is just so much that we have to do in this industry. And the Cal MBA is here to help you by providing these resources, providing these tools, providing this information. And so just keep your ears and eyes open. Go on to the 
um, website, avail yourselves of it. These two ladies are here available. They said, call us. Who can say yep. that? Come on, reach out and call them, get the help, get the assistance to help you to help borrowers to get into home ownership. I think Correct. that's all for us. Thank you so much. I'm glad that I was able to end it on time. Samantha knows how I am with time. <laughs> so, thank Give you, it a few ladies. minutes back. Right, thank you, me. everyone, for joining us this morning. And thank you, Veronica and Brenda, for your time. And Rosalind, great welcome. job as always. Thanks, Thanks for everyone. Me. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Candy, as well. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.